I'm Harrison. And I'm Perry. And this lesson is about the G-Force rinse bar. All right, so I'm gonna show you some pretty cool things that we're working on. Okay, so let's have some water. You ready? Okay, so there's a couple of things that you'd notice from G-Force um, is that we can have quite a low flow rate and it's going to work perfectly. Okay. Yeah. So if I get that flow rate too high, then it starts to splash a bit like in any jets. But the other thing is that like if we have a brush, we're going to put the, the, the rinse pattern, you know, out here somewhere. And but with G-Force, we can put the, the rinse pattern almost straight at the glass. Why is that? Um, that's because we don't need to, we're so close to the glass that we don't need to put the water on the other side of the bristles. The bristles would be angled, yeah? So we've got to yep. point the water on the other side of the bristles and the bristles come out, you know, in a circle around here. So we've got to get the water over over here. So we'll squirt the water, you know, from up here and squirt it over there. So this way. Then the, th the other thing that I want to show that we're working on, just turn it this way a bit, um, is we're working on, if you look at the shape of these jets, yeah? So we're working on fanning the water in the middle and pencil jetting the water on the outsides. Yeah, so, um, so that's uh, that's kind of like what we're developing is, is a fan jet based rinse bar. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. And that's basically it. You'll see those. There's not a lot of water. Um, yeah. You, so the beauty of the beauty of the gyro is that very easily you can turn it so the water's on the underside, and that's the principle of why this product will work. You know, faster is if you've got a really dirty window, you can put the jets on the underside with a twist of the pole and in the down action, you're going to pull the dirt off the glass and then twist it around easily. And now the jets are on the top, so your downstroke will be the final rinse. You do not need to take this off the glass to do a rinse. So it's a single action clean, agitate on the upstroke, rinse on the downstroke for your final pass. Yeah. And what about the filter? Oh, the, the filter here. is in here. Uh, have we put it in here yeah. now? Okay, so there, this one actually has a filter there, I think. Oh no, it doesn't. Maybe it might have a filter there, but in the, in the, in the final version, the filter is in this push fit here. So if you were to get some dirt and debris into your pure water flow from your connection to the hose, so it's this connection, when you disengage your hose and you're packing up or you're laying it out, there's a big chance that you can get dirt and grit into your pure water line. And we have a filter in between the stem push fit and the push fit on the top of the pole. Yep. Yep. So there's a little filter in there. So if there was any debris, it won't get to, oh, to so, G-Force. So it catches, the, it catches all the debris before it goes in. Correct, the correct. And just for those of you who live in the super, super North America, um, it'll also catch icicles, right? So if the water is freezing icicles, slightly, really? yeah, 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 yeah. We had a guy last year and he said, my jets are not working, my jets are not working. And then he ended up looking in his filter and there was little icicles in there. Oh my goodness. So the water had frozen and created a, a resistance. So he needs a hot water. Yeah, he might need a hot water system, that guy. Okay, so that's, uh, that basically gives you an understanding that the, the, the rinse bar on a G-Force is designed for around a 1.3 liter per minute or one third of a gallon per minute flow rate. So it's a much smaller flow rate than the radial and the rocker. Okay. Similar flow rate, similar flow rate, maybe a little bit less than uh, light and ultralight. And the reason is because we don't need to push the water so far. If you've got pencil jets, you need to push the water three feet. Yep. If you've got radial brush, you need to push the water one feet, you know, kind of thing. And if you have G-Force, you need to push the water one inch or, you know, two and a half centimeters for you. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> okay, great. That's it. So that's G-Force rinse bars.